What's up you hairy beasts, and welcome back to the Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer, and today I've got a fabulous Hammer film lined up for us. It is Val Guest's 1957 classic hit. It is The Abominable Snowman, and this one is one of my favorites, and it's just absolutely atmospheric. So let's get right into it. Here is The Abominable Snowman. The Abominable Snowman is a beautifully crafted and wholly mysterious adventure horror flick, brought to us by the legendary British film studio Hammer Films, and directed by genre maestro Val Guest. Draped in a haze of mystery and ensconced in an enthralling premise, the production astounds with its exceptionally performed cast and majestic black and white photography, which all aids in on building up the tension and danger of the entire picture. Brilliantly moody with a tone to die for. The Abominable Snowman is a classy hammer film to say the least, and one that does a hell of a job building up the mystery of this mythical and extra elusive beast. The film follows a kind-hearted English botanist named Dr. John Rolison, and a rough and tumble American scientist named Tom Friend, as they lead a perilous expedition into the Himalayas in search for the legendary Yeti. With Rollison hoping to study the creature from afar, and Friend lusting to capture the beast and put it on display, the two adventurers clash, yet are interrupted when the hunters become the hunted, and a pack of yetis begin to fight back after their territory has been invaded, and one of their own has been slain. Can Rollison, Friend, and their faithful crew complete their near impossible task? Or should they concentrate on making it off this mountain range with their lives still intact? With expert class and graceful acting chops, the cast of the Abominable Snowman do a commendable job in building up the legend of the Yeti and giving the audience something to fear and wonder at. The efforts of all the performers are fantastic and help push this expedition along into some hair-raising moments and unbelievably hairy situations. From small players to heavy hitters, the outstanding explorers of this dismally doomed expedition are Peter Cushing as Dr. John Rollison, the world-renowned botanist and expert mountain climber who wants to observe the Yeti in their natural environment, Forrest Tucker as Tom Friend, the rough and gruff American scientist who plans to exploit the Yeti and get rich in the process. Maureen Connell as Helen Rollison, John's beautiful wife and partner in crime, who wants nothing to do with this miserable Yeti business. Richard Wattis as Peter Fox, John's faithful assistant and quite dull chap. Robert Brown as Ed Sheely, an expert big game hunter and crack shot. Arnold Marl as the Llama, a curious holy man and somewhat sinister secret keeper. And finally, Wolf Morris as Kusan, the native guide of the expedition and the only one with sense enough to get the hell out of there. Across the board, the cast does a great job with the brooding material, with Cushing taking center stage as the sensitive yet truly driven man of science. If there's one thing that the abominable snowman really nails, it's the astonishing mystery of the Yeti and the legendary buildup of the creature and its existence. The film lays the presence of these elusive beasts on thick as the expedition climbs higher and higher up into the mountains, yet we see very little of these mysterious monsters, allowing the acting chops of the cast and the isolation of the mountains to fill the audience with dread. When we do eventually get glimpses of the Yeti creatures, the designs and effects of the monsters are subtle yet effective, as they are always lurking in the shadows or staying slightly out of view, or appearing very quickly, so as to add more mystery to the legendary beast. It's an effective way to build the tension of the picture, and the inclusion of beautiful landscapes and chilling mountain encampments only adds to the already foreboding experience of the whole production. It's a haunting cinematic experience to say the least, 
and the filmmakers work wonders with the restrained approach as they lay thick the drama of the picture and allow the performers to talk up the horror of the film until the inevitable confrontation with the Yetis. All in all, it's an unforgettable and respectfully crafted story that only Hammer Films could have concocted up. In the end, The Abominable Snowman is a terrifyingly haunting horror production, which is a complete and utter mysterious masterpiece. And there you have it, Freakazoids. That is the really entertaining, wholly haunting, and very atmospheric Hammer Horror film. That is The Abominable Snowman. Just a really classy production to say the least, and just a really awesome Yeti flick. But guys, that is it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below, because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I will see you all at the next movie review. Take care.